Hey guys, what's up? So, I'm gonna tell you all my coming out story. And this is like my 15th time recording this because I take forever. But so, here we go. My coming out story is probably similar to a lot of other trans guys, but mine is unique. So, here we go. Um, I acted like a boy from the a well i acted like myself from the age of i'm gonna say like can not even that like from the time that i was three until the time when i was like 13 not 13, like 12 11 from 3 to 11 i was i acted like a boy i dressed like a boy played with boys things and um just was never into anything with girls like i was just like uh, um so, this is a real indication that I was going to come out eventually. When I was five years old, I was in the play place of McDonald's, and I was playing there, and there were all these little girls. And, of course, I have, you know, long hair, so I looked like the stereotypical little girl, but I thought I was a little boy. <laughs> and so, we were, they were all playing, and I was playing with them or whatever, and they're like, come on, ladies, let's go do this. And I look at them, like, I'm like, I'm not a lady, I'm a man. And they all look at me, and they walk away, and they didn't play with me then. So that's one of the reasons why I never came out when I was, like, younger. Because, I mean, when you're rejected at five years old, you're not going to ever want to say anything. So I kept everything bottled up. Even though I acted like myself up until a certain age, I still kept it bottled up. People would ask me questions, and I would just be like, no, I'm normal. Well, anyway, when middle school hit and I was like 10 or 11, I started acting like the stereotypical female. Um, you know, wearing Victoria's Secret, like, not, not the underwear, like the pink stuff, like the, the girly stuff. And I'd like wear that and I'd just act like girl, like straighten my hair and stuff. But like, I knew that I wasn't and I just wanted to let it all out, but I couldn't. And I expressed myself as being homophobic to people um and that was a dick thing to do and i'm so sorry to anybody who i made feel bad but that's why when i look at homophobic people i'm like are you like not straight like <laughs> because i look at myself but anyway and um so when i was then starting high school everybody started to come out as something well not everybody but a good select few so i was like i'm gonna keep it bottled up forever no one's ever gonna know i'm trans Holla at me. So then, 10th grade, December 11th, 2011, I came out to my grandmother. I went into her room at 1 o'clock in the morning, and I was just like, I have to tell you something. And I pretty much was like, I'm a boy. That's pretty much how I said it. And my family did not understand it at all, and I got so much hate. Like, my dad still doesn't accept it at school. No one accepted me because I lived, like, in the middle of nowhere. And I pretty much came out like that. I got my hair cut, like, the next weekend. Like, I just came out so fast and did it so suddenly that, like, I mean, I just got so much hate. And that's how I came out. Like, that's pretty much all that happened. Like, I acted like I was a, I was a boy. That's all I can say. I was just a boy with the female anatomy. Like, that's the only thing. And my family is still kind of like like they they accept it and like they understand it but like my dad still doesn't really and at school most people are like kind of used to me i guess by now you could say but they're kind of not because it's not the most common thing but um that's my coming out story i know i kind of just threw it out there but that's how i am with everything so thank you guys for watching i hope it was interesting it probably wasn't though but um Okay, uh, see you later. Yeah, that was, okay. <laughs> that was so weird the way I did that, but alright. <laughs> Bye.